Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three tips to help you decrease the chances of getting your account suspended on Xe. So if you want to learn more about these tips, make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, consider subscribing today. I do upload weekly videos to help you build an impactful online business. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first one notified of every new video I upload. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this video today is because lately many Xe sellers accounts has been suspended, like their store are getting suspended for no reason. And this has been happening a lot in the past few months. And I've seen it a lot in my actual Facebook group. A lot of people post about this. And I personally have never had my account suspended. So I can't speak to whether Xe does reach out to sellers or not. However, um, many people saying they're not, you know, and I'm starting to believe it because the majority rules, right? And I did see the chat conversation between a customer and an Xe rep, and this was shared on my Facebook group. And it was quite disappointing how Xe handled the situation. The person just wanted to know why their account got suspended. And this is what Xe said. They said, thank you for waiting. After reviewing your Xe account, I can see that you have been refused service. We would appreciate your cooperation with seizing all contact with Xe, and it has been determined that our business relationship has ended. For that reason, we will need to end this chat. We appreciate you understanding and cooperation. When I read this, it didn't sit well with me. I feel that if we responded like this to a customer, we would get suspended right away. And I also feel that as an XE seller, they hold us accountable for providing excellent customer service to our buyers, but they don't seem to be doing the same for us sellers. And I still love the platform and I'm very lucky because it has helped me generate a lot of passive income, selling my digital products from my various stores. But I do feel like a change needs to take place soon because if they continue to provide horrible customer service, um, they're going to lose a lot of great sellers. People are going to start opening their own website, which I still recommend there, but or going to Shopify or going to other different e-commerce platforms. And I wanted to share with you three things that you should avoid at all costs to avoid getting your account suspended. And these tips will decrease the likelihood um, with Xe, but you know you never know. But just wanted to share these because I think that they're important to share. They're very related to one another as well. The first one is if you ever hire help or like a virtual assistant, one of the main things you should never do is give them access to your Xe store. Um, and the main reason is because Xe keeps track of your IP address. And I will link the article below where Xe talks about it. Um, so if your help has an Xe store also and their account gets suspended or they log into another Xe store that in the future gets suspended, yours will too because they will think it's the same owner. Another tip is don't let others log in using your computer. So if you have a friend who is visiting and she's like, hey, let me log into your computer real quick and log into my store. Later on, when she's at home, if her account ever gets suspended, um, you put your store at risk because they're tracking, again, the IP address at all times. So don't do it. And the third tip is don't use VPNs, which are like virtual private networks. And they're commonly used to give online privacy to create private networks when you're connected on a public internet connection, which makes sense to use. I have used them before. However, you're putting your store at risk. If your VPN pulls an IP from his random pool, because it's like a pool of different ones, that got someone banned in the past, your shop goes, goes away as well. So that's the reason why you want to avoid them. So these three tips will help you decrease the likelihood of getting your store suspended. It really does put things in perspective that Everyone should have their own website uh, in case this does happen to you. You don't technically have to start from scratch. Um, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, um, what other topics you would like me to cover like this that we, I barely don't ever cover. And I want to thank everyone for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have been affected by XC, if your account has been suspended, 
What did you do to recuperate your account? Maybe you know someone else's account that got suspended and you know that they were following all the rules and they still got suspended. Share that below. I think the more we all share our experiences, um, it does open your eyes more to what's really happening because until it happens to you, you really don't know. So all you have to go is by your opinion and what you know, you've been through. But when it happens to other people and you share it, um, especially tips like this, like don't let other people log into your account. I'm sure many of us have done that with our friends or maybe you have, you know, went to um, somewhere else and used someone else's computer and logged in. Just taking those advice and, and like really thinking about it next time that you're out, not, you know, publicly using your login anywhere because you never know. Um, so let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.